Okay, I'd like to welcome you to my demo of my new protocol using the Zyto Elite biosurvey package I created. Um, this is a, just an overview, a quick overview of all the, um, well, that's my new protocol. I'm not going to go through all the biosurveys, but the one that I use the most often is all my clients come in, whether it's a short visit or a long visit, I can do a very good overview of what's going on in their system. And the one I use is this first one, an organs and system reactions graphing biosurvey. And actually, I'll do the follow-up one because this is for a client that's been here before. So we'll just click on that, and we're going to do a real um, test. This is a, I'll show you in real time how long it takes to do this testing. It really doesn't take that long. It's about 164 items, plus the 35 that we start off in the beginning. So it takes about three minutes to do the whole test. And in that time, you get a lot of information. You're looking at organs looking at tw top 22 food markers. I know it's not all the foods, but there is an additional food collection in there with 94 additional foods that are common foods. So if you feel like you don't get enough, you can actually look at that also. But look at the 22 foods, because these are the foods that I tend to look for when someone comes in and are the, some of the more common um, sensitivities that we have to foods. And so it shows you which foods you're reacting to. I'm looking at them right now, in fact. And then we're going to go into... Uh, common environmental and chemical reactions, things like heavy metals, arsenic, lead, mercury. We have mold in there. Uh, we have like dog hair, cat hair, house dust. Uh, we also have um, some chemicals like Roundup, weed killer. We also have mold like aspergillus and, and black mold in there. So we can see a good overview of what's going on in someone's system. We also look at immune system. Uh, again, um, we like to see what kind of potential bacteria or viruses, if their markers are if they're reacting to them right now. Then we look at nutritional markers, which we're doing now, which has to do with you know, um, digestive enzymes. We also look at uh, vitamins, minerals, good fats. And then we look at the last group, is last two groups are the hormones, neurotransmitters, and metabolism factors. And then the last group are the emotions. So we covered a lot of things in just a three-minute quick test. And it shows you an overview of what's going on in the body. When it's all done with the test, which it just about is, it will do a, take a couple of seconds to figure out the reports, because there's actually four reports that come up with this one. Um, and you can see, we'll see what comes up. The first report that's going to come up here in a second, which it just did, is the organ and reactions report. This is one that's like, I call the colorful one. People like to see this. I can email it to them. I usually don't print it out unless they absolutely really want it. Um, and it's a four-page report, so it's not too long. And it shows you um, the, the organs that are out of balance on the first page with the range. So it actually explains the range and what it what, what it does. Excuse me. Let's go back up to the top. Okay. Um, and it shows, it shows what the range is, what it means. So anything over 9.26 is out of balance for this person right now. And so this is where the range is. And it goes through and shows you what organs are out of balance with the highest one having the, the, the bar going out to the right. So the highest one in this case is the stomach. Then there's a parathyroid and teeth and jaw. So we go through and we can see what's going on there. And the second page has to do with food reactions. So these are the top 22 foods, and we look and see what comes up. Here's milk, chocolate, um, peanuts. And so you continue on there. Soybeans came up here. And again, you can ask them questions about what they ate, if they just eat, recently ate these foods, if they are coming up. Then there's environmental and chemical reactions. This one shows you the top ones that are out of balance here. There's lead and shame showed up here as the highest one. Again, where would they get that from? I know it can come in many different sources. I have information I can share with them. The last one down here is actually a mold, 34. So we look and see, ask them if they've been in a moldy environment or they're sensitive to um, moldy environments that they know about. Second one's immune system reactions. Again, doesn't mean that they have any of these diseases or uh, issues, but again, you want to see how, how um, sensitive the immune system is to these kind of things. So you can see what's high here. There's a strep showing up as high, uh, E. coli, uh, mono. Again, that doesn't mean that they have it, mumps. Um, and so you can see here, this one has to do with mold also. So I'm kind of looking for a mold sensitivity overview here since I saw it on the page before that. Also coming up with milk, sometimes people have to have more congestion in their body. Next group here is um, nutritional reactions. And again, there's some high numbers here. The highest one is 37 on omega-3. So we can see if ask them if they're taking omega-3s. Actually, there's iron here. Uh, so again, see what's out of balance, see what they're taking. This does not mean that they need it, or that, just mean that their markers are out of balance. So you may want to see, see if they're taking it already, if they're absorbing it well. 
Um, DD3 showed up here. The last group here is page is uh, hormones, neurotransmitters, and metabolism factors. So there's many hormones. Um, neurotransmitters are acetylcholine chloride, there's GABA, and then there's serotonin and dopamine. Uh, many hormones like cortisol um, and you know, insulin is here. Also there's some metabolism factors. There's dehydration, which is not showing up as a problem. Methylation, um, lactic acid is a metabolism marker. Um, for circulation, oxidation, and then down here there's also um, uric acid showing up. So that also the detoxification issues. So, and then the last group on this page is our emotions. So we can see if there's emotions related to what's going on with the organs on the first page, and and find out what's going on. You know if there's um, emotions to deal with and things like that. So you can see here in this case there's thyroid um, having to do with adrenals and, co and confusion. So we went through this test. What I actually print out is a second report which is called the Top Out of Balance Report. And this one shows you the top 30 items out of balance. And I'll make it bigger so you can see it. But it organizes it by category. So it shows you the top 30 items out of balance. And you can kind of get a quick overview of where the issues are. In this case, you can see that pretty easily that there's hormones and neurotransmitters had the highest reading. So you want to pay attention to that probably, um, depending on their symptoms. And then the other ones are nutritionally. So make sure that they're absorbing their nutrition so that their hormones and neurotransmitters can work better. And so again, you can see an overview of what's going on here, but if you're not sure, and actually have a report to help you figure it out, the, the computer has a new report attached to it now called the Cause of Stress Report. And this one will actually show you, it'll take all those 164 items and average them out and show you which one has the highest DR readings. So in this case, as we saw on the last page, it actually looked and found out that yes, the hormones are the most out of balance area. Second one is metabolism weakness. So in this case, in this person right now, I would make sure that they were working on their hormones and metabolism. They need to have some help there. So you're not going to look at other things that are showing up down here so much. You want to pay attention to this. This is what will help get their in the balance the best. And then you look at um, their system stress list. Is it endocrine, digestion, nervous system, immune, cardiovascular, respiratory system? So that really didn't take that long, and you've got that whole test already figured out. Now you can go back to the elite and um, and run a report. Now if you run this report, you're going to see, it shows you the old things that are out of balance. This is where the, the old results could be. This is a follow-up biosurvey. So if you want to see what the report is of what showed up last time and compare it to it, the third report down is called results comparison. And what this shows you is a, a four-page report again of everything we've tested but what it was last time compared to what it is today. So when they came in last time, did they have a high reading or not? So you can go through here, and here's the organs, and you can go through and say, okay, hypothalamus was higher last time, and it's still high, so we want to pay attention to that, which has to do with the endocrine system, which we're looking at. We also have the ovaries, went from 11 to 17. Uh, let's see, we've got um, peripheral nervous system, some too bad, they're both higher. So you can go through here and see what's going on. Thymus showed up twice. Uh, something's got better. So you can see here's mold showed up last time, 28, but didn't show up today. But I think on the one on the bottom did show up today. It went from, whoops, the next page. So you go through and you can see what showed up here. And then one other mold was five last time. And this one, the deeper one, showed up more this, this today. Uh, let's see what else is showing up here. So you're looking for commonalities. Like here's uh, soybean showed up last time, 15 and 22. Too. So again, I would ask them if they're eating soybeans. Cow's milk was high last time, but again, it is high again today. So it tells you what, where there's patterns of stress showing up in, in clients and stuff. So, you know, if they say, okay, milk showed up one time, but it's not showing up today. Well, it is showing up again. So it's something to pay attention to and see you know, if they get a reaction when they eat and drink milk again. Uh, same thing with the hormones. You can go through and see what hormones are out of balance last time and which ones are still out of balance today. So leptin went up. Um, let's see other ones went up here progesterone went up. So you can, again, get a good uric acid one also went up. So you can see a number of different things that showed up. So it's a really good way of finding out what's going on. And then you can go back and do a balancing, a manual balancing. There also is an option of doing this with the balancing, if you want to do the balancing along with it. In all the balancing um, protocols here, you bring in whatever collections you want to bring in or items you want to bring in. So you can bring in um, whatever product companies you want. I don't have any product companies. The only one that has a product company using with it with this um, library is Energetics and that that's just to run this one biosurvey. So everything else you use your own your own products.
So because I use many different product companies and I want to make sure everybody else can too. There's a special food trigger list here um, to do 100, 150 foods and there's also a positive thinking bio survey that I use when someone comes in in a negative mindset and I'll give them five positive things to think about or we look at clearing limiting beliefs. Some practitioners really like this one that shows you what um, uh, let's just run it for a quick thing. It shows you the, the uh, different c categories that um, are out of balance, like some I call sabotage statements that you might be thinking about, and then the emotion, the negative and positive emotion that helps figure that one out. So this is another one I use. I don't use it a lot, but when it comes in the right people at the right time, they're very, very helpful to help them figure out what's going on in life and may help them make a change, um, mental change for the positive. Also, I can use these on e boxes as statements if, if they really feel um, you know, attached to that and think, oh, that's really true for me. Then you can use that as an e box statement too. So, right now it's going through the, the negative emotions, and now it's going through the positive emotions, and it's going to come up with a, a report here in a second. Okay. <clears throat> so, here is a report clear limiting belief statements and so this is an opportunity to clear limiting beliefs that may be holding you back from your goals. Your priority conflict is I'm willing to take the necessary risks to change. Okay, And then negative emotion is being overwhelmed. The positive emotion they need to feel more is empathy. And then it goes through three statements using emotional stress release points how to get rid of some of these, these held beliefs and things. So it tells you how to what to say in three um, three sentences and it's, it really does help to um, to get this going. And here it says no main description of fixed up. That's basically you just uh, say the same thing as you say up here. So um, so that basically it shows you what um, what to say and it's another helpful thing. So if you have any questions about these biosurveys, please contact me at uh, Dr. Olke at AOL.com or contact me through Zyto and they are available for sale on the Zyto library. Talk later. Bye-bye.